Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over an article recently released on tabstocks.com regarding design on gas, ticker symbol ZNOG. Z Dizzle My Nizzle. It says, New well license, a sign of 3D success for Zion and Gas in 2022. Uh, it says, This Tab Stocks article explores the reason why a new oil well license could be a good sign for Zion's success of producing oil. With all testing news anticipated in the first week of August from Zion and Gas, all eyes are on the PR section of their website. One of the major expected press releases from Zion relates to their application to drill another well in Israel on their license area. Uh, this hint was a few months back by the Zion Oil and Gas CEO, who said that they'd be looking for, um, be looking to explore in other, I'm guessing they mean areas for oil. Uh, this is not to say that the current well Zion is testing does not have oil. In fact, on balance, you can take the new drilling ap application as a positive sign in relation to its current oil testing program. The Zion Oil and Gas. Uh, has not updated the market much about what, if anything, they've discovered at the deeper levels of their drilling operations in the MJ02 well. Yet the testing operations appear to be big. Zion Oil & Gas is bringing and have already brought in some expert oil players from other countries, including US and Canada. Zion Oil & Gas has a number of zones of interest within the deeper well. Of these zones, Zion will have a main major target that relates to a layer of rock that could very well be rich in oil. Zion was optimistic enough to buy a rig that can drill deeper and conducted an extensive 3D testing on much of the license area as well as the course over the current site. More on that in a second. It could be bold, or it would be bold, it would be a bold bluff to apply for another permit to drill uh, another well at this early stage of its current testing if it turned out that there was no oil from the MJO2 well. John Brown, Zion Oil & Gas founder, had hinted on a number of occasions recently too that he believes we should see oil soon. Whether the Zion Oil & Gas can end up producing oil from the MJO2, that would no doubt resurrect the Xenog share price remains to be seen. In my mind at this stage, there has, there has to be oil in order to justify a further drilling license and the key to oil discovery is within the 3D data that gives a higher probability of discovery for a commercially viable oil well. At the time of writing the article, uh, it's trading at 22 cents, down 9% from the 25 cent share price we saw earlier in trading. We're going to talk about that as well. Uh, I was going to make a, a video on the technical analysis anyway, so this article kind of just uh, made me do it a little bit earlier. Uh, so <clears throat> it is a big crash in one day given it climbed 22 cents to 27 cents. Not sure the reason for the crash, maybe a tree shake. 22 cents is my view a good entry if you believe news will follow. And it says disclaimer, please read our disclaimer um, on the terms and condition for making investment decisions. And then it asks about, um, you know, sharing their article and stuff like that. So a very positive article by Tab Stocks this morning, no doubt. And uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of sections here. So the 3D seismic, for one, I did 3D seismic data. Someone released on the Facebook group a very, very good video kind of going through the process of drilling a land-based oil rig. Okay. And, and it's, it's, it's a, it's very, very informative. I watched it this morning and it was really cool to see. So I'm going to link that in the description below. I would highly recommend everyone watch that, uh, watch that video for one. Okay. And then two, we talk, he comes down and talks about the, um, you know, about, you know, John Brown hinting for oil, hinting that they have it. And then, uh, you know, them be, it, it would have to be a pretty bold move for them to apply for a new drilling license if they don't think they have anything. This is all things that we've already kind of thought about and we've already kind of expected and speculated over the past couple of months, right? So now it's kind of up to them to back it up and say something of what the heck's going on. And <clears throat> one thing for me is, you know, I've mentioned this several times in my videos about me min uh, reaching out to the, uh, the, the Ministry of Energy out in Israel and how they were quick to reply last year whenever I reached out to them. And they've gone like silent. Uh, I've reached out to them several times. I think three times I've emailed them in three uh, over a three to four week period. And I mean, crickets. I've emailed you know, the same person I've talked to before. 
then I went to the, the basic contact information to where I can just email them, just send it out to whoever will answer me and, and nothing. So I'm kind of like, to, in my opinion, it's kind of a good sign because they're just, they don't want to come out and say anything because they're probably getting ready to say something and release information. In my opinion, could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, technical analysis. We talked about um, ZNOG for a swing this week, bouncing off at 22, going up to 25 to 26. And if you're in a swing trade, that's where you probably want to take some profits. I'm going to show you on the charts here in a second why it may have dipped. And it's basically, I just see it on the technical aspect of things uh, of why it's set up for a pullback at that level. I just want to show you um, on the chart. So anyway, really good article. I enjoyed reading this. Uh, so we'll see next week what it brings. And it's going to be, in my opinion, boom or bust for next week because if, you know, they come out and they give us some positive news, man, this thing is going to go crazy, in my opinion. And I'm hoping that it does. And if they don't, then they'll probably, you know, may dip a little bit further down. But I don't think the only way that this thing like crashes down hard is if they come out and say, oh, we don't have anything and we'll have to redo the whole process. But if they don't say anything, then it may just kind of stay stagnant of where it's at, like around the 20 cent to 22 cent level. Um, and I'll agree with them here that the buying opportunity right here, in uh, in my opinion, is pretty pretty great at that 22 cent mark. Um, any Anything, I mean, under 50 cents, in my opinion, is a pretty good buying opportunity, but especially here from the, you know, 10 cent to the 25 cent range. Uh, in my opinion, is a, a good buy if you're willing to, you know, get in and um, and and hold for for the news. But even if you're not in yet, if you've been someone who's just kind of sitting on the sidelines and waiting, then you know, waiting for news, keep keep an eye on it close. And again, um, anything under 50 cents to me, if you get in, I mean, it, it should on positive news easily send it to, in my opinion, about a dollar or so. Um, but anyway. Yeah, it's just kind of me talking, so not financial advice, not telling you to, to buy it or anything. But okay, guys, let's go and take a look at the charts and let's see what they're telling us. All right, guys, take a look at Zion Oil and Gas ticker symbol ZNOG. We're going to go over a couple of different things here. So first and foremost, uh, if you're, you know, if you've been watching the channel, you know that I talk about cup and handle patterns all the time, right? So they form a cup. All right, and this is the stock price where it starts. It starts coming down. It finds a bottom. It comes up and then it matches pretty close or exact of where that cup started and then what happens is you pull back okay and then you typically find a level of support somewhere midway around the cup you bounce off and then boom okay you are uh, going up again to the upside well on the flip side of things you know, this is the bullish pattern here this is like okay we're going higher on the on the bearish side of things there's something that's called an inverse cup and handle and this kind of looked like it formed here on ZNOG, not a very big one, okay, but it formed here. So you see here, it's like an upside down cup. It bounced off of 22, and then it went to about 25, all right? And then now we could go back down and, you know, maybe test out 20 cents, okay? It doesn't mean it's gonna fall down like extremely hard, all right? Like I said, in my opinion, the only way it falls down really, really hard is if they come out and they're like, okay, this was, you know, this was a wash and we have to wait until the next one, then obviously that would, you know, make it fall down pretty aggressively, probably what you look at right here. Um, however, if there's no news, you know, going into next week after Monday, you can probably see it come down and we test 20 cents, but as long as it bounces off of there, we talked about that too, is it could easily, um, you know, go down to, you know, 20 cents or so and then, you know, bounce off of that and keep coming up and down, up and down. Because realistically, uh, 20 to 22 cents is where the red SMA line is. So as long as we bounce off of that, that's a good sign uh, of price trend for us moving forward. Uh, a lot of volume here on the selling side of things, um, which, you know, which was kind of to be expected, like we talked about earlier in the week. However, like I said, as long as we bounce off of here, like we keep doing, you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight times we bounced off of about the 22 cent support level. We're finding great support here um, at the 22 cent level. So people are coming in and buying here is what I'm saying, is when it falls down there, people are like, okay, I'm coming back in and getting more, getting more, getting more. And that's where they see that this is a pretty good uh, buying opportunity. So anyway, all right, guys, that's all I got for you in this video. Let me know your comments below. Other than that, we will catch you in the next one, but keep a close eye out for 
of Zion Oil and Gas next week. Okay, next Monday in particular and Thursday. Those are the days that they typically tell us when something's going on. So keep an eye out for that. And of course, I'll update you as soon as I know. So, all right, guys, have a good weekend. Catch you in the next one. Talk to you later.